Let's go to the homeschool convention! I am going to the Arizona Families for Home Education Convention. I just got here and parked and I am going to go find where the convention is and get signed in. So let's see all of the fun classes and the, the vendor hall. All right, so I came outside because there's a lot of people <laughs> and I just wanted a place to sit and look at the class schedule. And so I got my name tag, I got my goodie bag, and I got the brochure. So I'm gonna show you guys what classes I'm thinking about. They have a lot of really great ones. So this is their schedule. It's all day at 10.30. I'm thinking about going to Jamie Erickson's. You guys, they have Jamie Erickson here. And it's cultivating curiosity through project-based learning. But I'm also thinking the essential tools for developing self-motivated children. And then at one o'clock, they have, I'm homeschooling with a toddler strapped to my leg. Amen to that, I need that. And then when more is less, a call to simplicity in your schedule. And then at 2.30, they have, which one was I looking at? This one right here. Creating your family's best learning environment and pitch in a fit. I heard a lot of really great things about this book, so kind of want to go check that out. And then four o'clock, they have Developing Lifelong Readers, Reaching Your Child's Heart, and Raising Independent Kids. Those are all the ones that I'm interested in. Um, yeah, I don't know which ones I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow and see where I end up, but those are the classes that they're offering today. The convention was amazing. It's a two-day convention. I was only able to come on the second day. Um, we had our babysitter booked, but she got sick, so she wasn't able to watch the kids. So my husband was actually supposed to be here with me, and he stayed back at the house to watch the kids so we could actually listen <laughs> to what some of the classes were, and they were so wonderful. So the first one that I went to was Developing the Self-Motivated Child. That one was so good, you guys. Um, Jeannie Fulbright, I think it's her name. Uh, she was the speaker of that one and she gave so many great tips and really emphasized the Charlotte Mason philosophy of, you know, we think that we're helping our children by saving them from, from hurt and rejection and trials, but that when we take over and we don't let them explore and fail and, you know, use their minds to think about how they should do things that we're really robbing them from just the ability to be able to grow into people who are motivated to do things for themselves and we kind of rob them from from certain things and i see some of what she said like i went to this class with all of the kids that i'm homeschooling in mind and the baby but a lot of what she said i feel ties into how i could do things better for and with my teenager and so it was really nice because she, you know, she's graduated and she's no longer homeschooled, but I'm still learning how to be a mom, even to an 18 year old every single day. Um, and then the next one that I went to, I took all of these like super in-depth notes, you guys, the classes were so, so good. If you have a convention near you, I, I want to encourage you to go. If it's too late for this year, then save up, make a plan and make sure that you go next year. I'm so, I did not want to go today. <laughs> you know, um, we had this plan, me and my husband were supposed to go and it was gonna be fun. And you know, I like that we can do it as a, a marital unit where both of us are getting, you know, information. We're both kind of getting excited. So when he couldn't go and I was leaving the house late on top of it, I was just like, I don't want to go. I'd rather just like stay home and get some stuff done. But I'm so, so happy that I came. Um, I feel like anytime I come to one of these things, I always leave like, yeah, let's homeschool. Let's educate the kids. And that's how I feel right now. I'm like, yes, let's go love them better. <laughs> And uh, so the next class that I took was um, 
like homeschooling with a toddler strapped to your leg and that one was with Jamie Erickson if you guys don't know she wrote uh, homeschool bravely and I'm currently reading that with some other YouTube mamas but you know she just gave a lot of really helpful tips on ways that you can homeschool with a toddler and she really you know like said like hey I know that this might not be the popular opinion but focus your day around your toddler schedule and kind of let everything else fall into place and don't feel bad if you're not able to do projects and you know dioramas and science experiments and art and all of these wonderful amazing things that you know are enriching but that might just be hard for the season because oh my goodness is it so hard to do those things sometimes with a toddler around I really want to be able to do all the things and right now it's not the season for it so it was nice to just have that that gentle reminder that if you're not doing all of the things if you're not the Pinterest mom if you're not the perfect mom who's doing co-ops and field trips and art projects and music lessons that it's okay because it's a season the season feels long but it flies by fast and you're where you need to be um, the next one that I went to was Pitching a Fit. Uh, that class was good. It talked about anger and you know what the Bible says about it and how we should respond to it. I think I might pick up that book. I, I remember somebody doing a video review on it and I don't remember who. I wanna say it was Ashley from Home Sweet Home School, but I could be wrong. But it sounded really good. And sometimes you guys like mothering it's such an amazing job. It's the best job I've ever had and it's all I ever wanted. You know, ever since I was little, I can remember just wanting to be a mom. But oh my goodness, is it also the hardest job I've had. So if you have had, <laughs> if you find that motherhood is not always the easiest job and that sometimes you are angry, then know that you're not alone and that Pitch in a Fit might be a good book. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out. And the last class that I went to was Reaching Your Child's Heart, and that one was so, so good. It talked about the different ways to reach your child's heart, to make sure that you're making yourself available to them, that you're not letting your phone just get, you know, in the way of them feeling like they can actually approach you and be recepted well. So I really love that. I feel like every class that I went to today really focused on not academics i didn't want that i didn't need that this year i wanted stuff to you know work on relationships to reach my kids hearts to to help cultivate that independence to cultivate those those loving relationships between siblings and between me and them and to just adventure together and make memories and i feel like I got from it exactly what I needed and I'm so thankful that instead of listening to that little voice today that said, don't go, you're stressed, he can't go with you, uh, you're going to be alone and you know all of the laundry list that I was making in my head of reasons why I shouldn't come, I'm glad that I didn't listen and I'm glad that I came because oh man, it was so awesome. And the absolute best part you guys, my husband was like, just, just buy what you want to buy and that was awesome because look at how many books I got. I got three bags. There's so many books. So <laughs> let me know down below. Have you been to a homeschool convention? Do you plan on going to one next year? I would love to hear what your plans are. If you haven't been, you should definitely consider going. It's so nice, you guys, to just be in a big room where everybody has the same goals to educate their children. It's it's amazing and it's uplifting and it just breathes this new life into you. So if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and I'll see you again later. Bye.